I'm doing a quick run through of Sage MC, which is a add-on, if you will. It's actually a totally different rewrite of the menu system for Sage TV. This is the TV page going into the program information. You can see that ComSkip is built in. Little markers there on the display there. You can skip back forward and backwards. You have to have ComSkip installed already, but it does have the monitor so that it recognizes those commercial skips. A series settings. Lots of different functions here. These are other showings of the one show that you're looking at. can send it to your iPod format or DVD or such if you have the right plug-in added on. And this page has recent and upcoming recordings on it. You can select any of those and get to the detailed screens. Here's a basic guide that's built in when you first install Sage MC. There's a page that looks at current movies, movies that are on now, or you can switch it to upcoming movies. You can start watching them, set it up to record or whatnot. You can do internet movie database searches to get more details on it, cast, locations, quotes, trivia. You can also save that information um, detail to the show, or you can save the um, screenshot off of IMDb. Again, this is the movies page, switching back and forth. This is the schedule of shows that are coming up that are set to record. the series manager, different series that I have set up. TV editorials is something from the basic Sage TV, but you can go through here and see some upcoming shows or shows that are just were just on and get more information on them, set them up to record. And new suggestions. Um, Sage TV, kind of like TiVo, monitors your watching habits and can give you some suggestions. Select any show from the program guide. This is the show playing. Notice when you go back to the main menu, it'll still be playing in a little window, kind of a picture-in-picture -picture window. This is the movies page, sorted by genre. Movies and videos all on one page. You can change the layout from by folder, by list. You're not going to see the actual video from this because of the way I did the screen capture. But it'll go right into playing the um, DVD that's on your hard drive or video. You can search for a certain movie name by title or description. I'm going to look for Star Wars. I know there's several of. It pulls up all the Star Wars movies that are um, in the database, and you can play right from there. Again, the movie's not going to show as we're playing this. Notice when you hit stop, it gives you some more selections there. You can go right to the root men menu if you ripped the DVD. 
and then there's a way to edit details and such from the for the movie or video. Online services is something that Sage TV has in the default, and they've added this to Sage MC as well. You can get to YouTube videos, Google Video, some pod video podcasts, as well as some audio podcasts. This is right out of, um, I think, Google Video or YouTube. These are some of the video podcasts that are available, sorted into categories. Honestly, I've watched more online video since this feature's been added to Sage TV than I think I ever did before. Just because it's easy to do. You're sitting there at your TV with your remote and you just kind of browse them. It's like channel surfing on online videos. This is the music page, and some of my covers aren't showing, so that's really my problem. But typically the covers will show in here. You can sort it by different ways, artist, album, genre. This is one of the views by artist. You can select that, play it. There's playlists. I only have a couple in here right now. But you can play them, shuffle those playlists, edit them, that sort of thing. When you start playing, um, it shows the cover um, in the little window, that, the same preview window you'd see video if you're playing like a TV show while you went through the different menus. This is the now playing screen. Your fast forward buttons and skip forward, all that works similar to the way video works with your remote when you're playing music. This is one of the visualizations. It takes the cover and it makes it seem like it's moving. The pictures page or photos page is um, almost exactly like the one in the default Sage TV. I haven't played around with this too much, but you can go in and view your pictures and show slideshow. You can do this while music is playing in the background. This is the weather button that's on the main menu in Sage MC, and you can get into more detailed weather. Just follow your mouse or your remote and see forecasts for different days. You can switch over to 10 day forecast. This is a nice little screen. And then some maps are available as well. Again, the music's playing in the background while we're going through the screen. Video could do the same thing, video or TV. You go back with your your remote and click on the cover, and you go back to the now playing screen. Just went into settings. I've kind of changed the screen around from the default, and uh, in the settings, it'll show a lot of status about what's going on with your Sage TV at the time. has parental controls built in. Fairly custom customizable, but I haven't played around with that. Sage MC has its own options page and there's just tons of things you can change and edit in here. I'm just going to scroll through the menu so you can kind of get an idea of all the different things you can change.
You can also select some themes through this page and change the look and feel. And these are a couple of the themes that are out there. You can also download some different ones. It actually changes the background and the icons and that sort of thing. I'm using the default at the moment, so we'll go back to that.